Grade 8 math number 2.1e, the zero exponent rule. I said a few videos ago I'd explain the zero exponent rule, so here it is. For any non-zero real number, n, where n is not a zero, it's got a zero exponent, but it's not a zero. It's going to equal 1. So all integers with an exponent of zero are going to equal 1. It's just bases with zeros don't count. If we have 2 to the third power divided by 2 to the third power, any number divided by itself is going to equal 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 10 divided by 10 is 1. It doesn't matter. Whatever we divide by itself to itself is going to equal a 1. And as we learned in the last video in the quotient rule of exponents, it said division means to subtract the exponents. So if we have 2 to the third power divided by 2 to the third power, we can see the bases are the same, so we're just going to subtract these exponents. So 3 take away 3 is going to be a 0. Well, since we're dividing it to itself, it's going to equal 1, and 2 to the 0 is going to equal 1. See? Do you remember in the product rule of exponents, it said multiplication means adding the exponents? So if we've got the same base, a 2, and this is 2 to the 0 power, and we're multiplying it to 2 to the 3rd power, 0 plus 3 is going to be 3. Remember? Because we add the exponents. It's the same thing as saying 1, because 2 to the 0 power is a 1, 1 times 2 to the 3rd power is 2 to the 3rd power. See? It's just going to be 2 to the 3rd power. So remember that any time you see any number that has a zero power, a zero exponent, it's going to equal 1. Whether you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, it's going to equal a 1, okay? But it can't have a zero for a base. Now to take one step up, for those who are interested, if we have a negative 2 to the zero power, it's going to be a negative 1. Since this represents 1, and we've got a negative sign in front of it, it's going to be a negative 1. But if it's in parentheses, and the exponent's on the outside, then it's going to be a positive 1. We'll get into that more in the future. If we have a variable to a 0 power, it's going to equal a 1. Because whatever this x represents, it could represent a 2, it could be a 5, it could be a 1,000, it could be 5,237. It doesn't matter. It's, in a zero, it's got a 0 exponent. It's going to equal 1. So if we have 2 with a variable with a 0 power, like this one, then it's just going to be a 2 because that's going to equal a 1 and they're next to each other. That means multiplication, so 2 times 1 is 2. See? But if it's in parentheses with this on the outside, then now this is the base number. See? So now the whole thing is going to equal 1. In this one, the x was the base number. In this one, the 2x is the base number. See the difference? Okay. So that's a step up. You don't need to really know that, but I thought I'd throw that in for you bright guys that are watching these videos. So that's the zero exponent rule, and we're going to continue talking about some of the other rules, like negative exponents, and I'll see you there. Bye.